What's up, guys? Welcome to the Post Point Podcast. Today, we're going to be discussing um, environmental issues and what we think about them. So, this is Brayden over here. Hello. Chloe. I'm Sierra. I'm Victor. And I'm Matt J. Walker, as you guys are all well aware. And let's start us off on what what's bad about the environment, man. The environment's bad. We need to kill it. No, um, many of us believe that there is um, legitimate environmental issues. I'm not subscribing personally to the climate change whole agenda thing, but um, my personal belief is that there is legitimate environmental issues like radiation leaks, like um, trash floating in the oceans, and um, things akin to that. And um, that's my stance. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of pollution just in everything. The air, water, ground, like whatever you go through, Mm -hmm. there's going to be pollution. So I feel like that's an issue that we are just making worse. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I totally agree. Like people, a lot of people aren't aware of it, even though there is a lot of media that's covering like, hey, our oceans are filled with trash and we're doing these things that um, are just contributing to it. And a lot of people just aren't really aware of how things that they're doing in their daily lives are contributing to the environmental crisis. I agree with that too, but also like people are, they, some aren't aware, but for those who are aware, still aren't doing anything about it. Like they're still, uh, like I see sometimes on television that there's uh, (coughs) some people that will go out and clean the rivers and clean the oceans, but that's very few. Like why can't we all come together and clean it up, do one big cleanup? Like I don't Mm -hmm. see the issue in that, you know? and I think trash use is, is like a huge thing with our environment as well. Like I live out in Eatonville and there's this like dump place that's really close to where I live. And I think I, if I recall correctly, I was talking to my parents about it and they're saying how they would promise not to let the trash hill get tall enough where you could see it from Graham Hill. Yeah, that's it way looks, big It's now. way big, it's huge. And so, you know, they simply broke that promise and it's, it's just like, how can, how can we as people have so much trash? Like we need to, we need to start using our resources and, and, and reusing the sort the you know like the sources that are available available to us as well you know what I mean Absolutely. yeah I agree a little monologue both of you. yeah <laughs> <laughs> I agree I don't have much of an opinion now <laughs> I don't know much about the topic I'm gonna be honest okay yeah. so then what do you do you disagree on anything though uh, not necessarily no I think uh, it's it's a big mutual agreement on everyone should just kind of clean up and. Yeah. Kind of find better solutions on where we put our trash and whatnot. Definitely. Okay. Like I said, though, I don't personally subscribe to the climate change um, Why movement. Is that? Personally, because I think it's an agenda or it's agenda driven. So there's a lot of people trying to use the green movement to put themselves in positions of power, mm-hmm. like many of the people running for president today. And um, I think that, you know, throughout history, there's always been some issue that they use to put themselves into that position. So personally, I don't subscribe to it. Do I believe that climate change? exists i think that the earth it goes through the earth goes through cycles and has throughout its history throughout its span and um you know ice ages things along those lines and then i think i mentioned this on a recent podcast but there was the um in greenland they took the vos dock ice core samples that were samples from thousands of years ago tens of it was like tens of thousands of years ago um that showed that um the earth's carbon in the atmosphere at that point in um, time, tens of thousands of years ago, was actually higher than it is now, and it was um, teeming with life even more so than it is today. So carbon does contribute to life because human beings are a carbon-based life form. So um, every time we breathe, we actually emit carbon. So um, the whole agenda to demonize carbon, for example, um, it just really demonizes humanity as a whole and then anything that breeds it. So that's why in the Green New Deal, for example, the, um, they said that we need to solve the issue of cow farts. Was there <laughs> was yes, something they brought up? That's very true. I very heard about true. that. Yeah, it's like 30% of the Earth's... Of the CO2. Earth. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Exactly. But I mean, that's, that's what I'm saying is like life forms on Earth are all carbon-based. So they try to demonize carbon when every life form is used or uses carbon and breathes it in including plants so carbon isn't the enemy um but they always try to make it so so it is a big agenda in my view so i don't subscribe to the to the climate change movement however i do believe like i said there are legitimate environmental issues um like trash floating in the ocean and like um oil things like that spills in the ocean um radiation from um nuclear reactors 
things like that. So um, those are the things we need to address, but we need to do it in a way where we don't demonize people for um, contributing because everybody contributes whether or not you like it. Most of us drive drive um, carbon emitting cars, you know, that burn gasoline to um, run their engines, things like that. So um, that gets us into electric cars and what we think about that. And I think that the new Tesla Cybertruck is really cool. I really want one myself. It's only 38K. So it's not that bad <laughs> when you compare it to other Tesla cars. So um, I would love that. What do you think about the Cybertruck? But that's just a that's just a one motor one. The tri motor is like uh, oh, yeah. 50, it's, it's like it? fifty no, and then the oh the tri motor that one's seventy nine. Yeah. The dual motor that one's like sixty nine or fifty nine or something like yeah. that. Yeah. I'd buy the individual. I don't even care. <laughs> <laughs> I just want one. They've already had like over two hundred fifty thousand pre orders on that. Yeah. Oh it's only hundred dollars oh. to pre order, but like that's still right. they're making like two and a half million just off of pre orders. Mm-hmm. So yeah. it's definitely that's popular. I like it. I, and I would buy one. Plus there there are you know <laughs> other trucks out there that are actually way more expensive than this you know Tesla. Yeah. Like when I actually when I see Tesla. I think luxury, and um, but actually like finding out about the actual price of a Tesla, I was like, you know what, you know like middle middle class people can afford that. You yeah. know what I mean? Like it's probably the parts that you that's probably a little more on the expensive side. But finding out how much they actually were like my mom's car, she doesn't have a Tesla, but it was still forty grand for yeah. the car. Yeah, expensive. <laughs> yeah. Things, yeah, and so um, learning about that, I personally, I probably wouldn't drive. The Tesla, the Cybertruck, just because it's not my kind of style. I like the sleek look of the Model S. Like, ugh, I'm just in I do love like with Model them. S, yeah. Yes. Um, or the Model 3. The Model Ooh. X, I'm not a big, like, kind of SUV fan, yeah. person. I'm not a car Maybe. fan. <laughs> I wish they would have made that, like, an actual SUV. Yes. But, oh, and I also, thought that was like, a car. I'm pretty <laughs> sure, I don't even think the Cybertruck <laughs> has the, the original, like, Tesla logo on the front of it. Ooh. I don't think it has it on the front. So, no. and that's, like, that's, like, my thing. I love seeing them, like, mm, Tesla. Yeah, me too. I love Teslas. <laughs> and they're so silent nice. and fast. Yeah, yes. fast. Even the truck is like under four seconds. Yes, under four 60. seconds, zero to six. Oh, that's right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's really fast. And yeah. the Teslas, yeah. the, the Model S, that one's 3.2. Yeah. Zero to 60. And then the Roadster is yeah. 1.9. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. Something crazy. like that. Something super quick. Yeah. I love flashy things. So the Cybertruck's totally up my alley. Yeah. yeah. It looks like it comes from space or like a Cybertruck. It's like a Blade Runner looks, car. I haven't seen a picture yeah. of it yet. Do you want to see a picture? Can I show a picture? Yeah, show a picture. For those of us that haven't seen it, for those of you, we will um, throw a picture up. Can we do that? Yeah. So he does have that knowledge. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just like that because it has like in the back of the truck, it's a flat like oh, cover what? over the bed. I saw but that. then you can just hit a button and it'll roll up and then go down behind the That's window so, cool. so you can see yeah. up the back. Yeah. And it's like all just by hitting a button. So like. If you wanted to, and then also you can get that turned into solar panels if you Dude, want. I would oh, see, right. yeah, yeah. see Each no day Tesla will charge symbol. 15 oh, yeah. miles worth of batteries. So, a, like, oh, wow. if you're really out camping cool for though. five yeah. days and you just had it out there, you could yeah. easily be like 150 free extra energy, miles. Yeah. Yeah. Free uh, charge. Yeah. 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 That's awesome. What's that? Yeah, yeah look at this yes. thing. That's see, but, so but no, no Tesla yeah, symbols. Weird. Like, how, no, yeah. no how would you know? You know, there's mean? nothing. There's nothing that I've well, I guess seen. guess there's nothing like else that, that looks like that. No. So you'd obviously know it's a Tesla Cybertruck. So but I want yeah. the Tesla symbol on there. And they're making it I'm in a matte black, black as well. Really? Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah. matte black. That's gonna look no. sick. Oh, I love matte black. Yeah, I see it. I saw. They have a like render of it if you Google matte black Cybertruck. Yeah. I saw. Do you ever see all the memes with the halo? Where they turn yeah. into the warthog. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. That was funny. They well, especially when out. they like rolled the quad out of the back, the electric quad. Yeah. You see that, and like it made me think of Halo too. Because like, you know, it's funny. I watched a video about how like Elon Musk was so smart because they didn't spend any money on marketing. They just made it so like memeable in yeah, a way. So it just, mar- it just sold itself in a way. That's crazy. Yeah, that's actually yeah. brilliant. Yeah, because he is like a genius on top of being a billionaire. Yeah, yeah, he's actually, so, like, he, crazy with his ideas. But he smoked weed on a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> like, I think it was, like, half, me. wasn't it half <laughs> and half, like... I don't know, it was like half tobacco, yeah, half yeah, marijuana. Yeah. Yeah. When I, are we going to do that? Hey, <laughs> 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 Teresa, it's legal here. <laughs> oh, my God. Should we get back to the environmental Should we get back to the environmental issues? Oh, yeah, so environmental issues. with the Cybertruck, like, the the nice purpose, well, like, the nice part about it is it... It's all electric, so like it doesn't emit those bad um, carbon. Yeah, yeah like, like the carbon in the air, and then you know you don't. It was talking about it, it doesn't even use oil. If I was reading correctly about it, like you don't mm. need to put oil in there, and so you know those two hundred fifty thousand people that bought that. That's two hundred fifty thousand people that don't need to, need yeah. to use oil. That's, so that's, that's really good economy nice. too. Yes. Yeah, mm-hmm. good economy. and you have like a six hundred mile range on it. Yes, yes, so it like, was it was a lot. It's gonna cut down a lot of mm-hmm. like that. A lot of that know. oil usage, gas usage, gas usage, usage, <laughs> usage. <laughs> Jeez, <laughs> obviously yeah. can't talk. But yeah, I think that's yeah. one of the the cool like 
you know, if we're looking at the pros and cons of the Tesla, of the Cybertruck, um, I think that's definitely a good pro. I think it's perfect for people like me who, like, whenever my oil light or check engine light comes on, I'm just like, hey, Dad, <laughs> uh, what's going on? Yeah. <laughs> you don't know how to change your oil on your car? No, I know nothing about cars. Dude, you're not, oh. what are you, 19? Yeah. <laughs> I know nothing Very about cars. Very inexperienced 19-year-old here. He yeah. can't edit videos, though. Yeah. That's yes. pretty good. Uh, he put a camera in front of me. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Did you guys know that they had electric cars like way back when? Like yeah. when the Tesla was actually the first made car. When they first started making automobiles, they made electric cars. Yeah. But the oil companies were like it was such a booming industry when the automobiles were made oh, yeah. that um, like the people that were in charge of that were like the no. Yeah. Yeah, they, yeah, they were like take mm-hmm. off type thing. Yeah, they were like no, we want oil cars. And that's why we drive oil cars today. Yeah. yeah. I'm pretty sure that was That goes it? back to the agenda. I mean, because yes. like, oh, we, we got to make sure there's a climate change agenda or like a green agenda, whatever. So we can't have everyone driving electric cars. Yeah. Because then that would, you know, bash mm-hmm. us because they get power. Yeah. So that's another thing. But as far as electric cars go, um, I believe, I mean, I think it's cool. <clears throat> really cool technology. I think that nobody should be required by law to have to, you know, drive an electric yeah. car. That's where I think mm-hmm. it steps on people's freedoms. I'm all about freedom. That Freedom is my philosophy. And um, so I think that there should be a law. I mean, sure, it, it can be encouraged. I don't mind that. Um, and I think they're too expensive right now for the most part. I mean, sure, Tesla does have the Cybertruck, for example, which is a symbol. It shows that you can make a a electric truck, first of all. Like, yeah. a, you know, it's a, a car, truck, too. A truck Not even format. just a car. Exactly, an electric in a car, yeah. And you can make it pretty cheap. But still, 38K to some people isn't feasible. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so, to some people, cars aren't even feasible, you know, in their price range. So once the prices start going down, people are going to buy more electric cars. There'll be, like, charging stations and new gas stations, things like that. But we have yeah. to let that happen organically. We can't force it or force individuals to subscribe to that, I don't think. So I think it should be free will choice. Mm-hmm. And, um, yeah. What do you think about self-driving cars? Being I'm down for that. I'm so that, for that's it. also where the Tesla comes <coughs> in, too. Like, uh... uh I personally probably wouldn't interest in that technology just because um, I don't know how reliable it is. Like, I know people, you, they've, yeah. they've probably done multiple tests on that stuff because they want to make sure that, you know, their customer is safe while driving yeah. this car. I've seen someone get run over with one of those before. So, really? <laughs> yeah, I don't trust See, the technology. That's, Not really, yet. that's just where it's, like, scary, you know, and, like... Uh, literally anything can happen. Like technology breaks down all the time. Mm-hmm. Like it's not. It's it's. Red Ring uh, of Death. Xbox 360. It's never like 100. You know what I mean? Like it, even when it comes down to our cell phones, like our cell phones will eventually break. It's like yeah. those cars will eventually break, and I wouldn't want to put my life in front of something that isn't as reliable as people may may you know make it seem. Like I'm sure there's that. great um, salespeople out there that will be like, hey, you know, listen to this pitch. Like this car can drive on its own. Like we've done all these tests, and yeah, yeah, that's great. But there's still a chance yeah. that I agree with you that actually, yeah. will get in a wreck, and like you know, put would, your life at risk. And yeah. I probably would never put myself out there. I would like trust that. it a lot more, like out of Edenville when the roads are not busy at all. That's true. But like when we're Seattle, here in town or Seattle or yeah. Tacoma, mm-hmm. and it's like you know, you're a foot from another car. Busy, I'd busy, busy. Yeah. Yeah. You ever see the video that dude just passed out in his Tesla as it's like on the freeway? Yeah, I have. Yeah. Oh, I saw that. Yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> that's freaky. And that's another thing is um, I think that a lot of technology is like making humans obsolete. So like AI, things like that coming out that are going to be taking people's jobs. So that's where I worry about um, self-driving cars as well because then we're going to be making human humans obsolete. And then what happens when, you know, what happens when it doesn't know where something is, or like a GPS, or like hackers. You gotta think about these things too, like hackers are gonna go in there and they just have fun doing things like that. Yeah. Skynet, hack your cars. Skynet. You don't want Skynet <laughs> controlling your cars, is that not right? But the biggest thing is humans, we have the capability to drive. I don't think we, I mean, if you want a self-driving car and those things come out, then cool, but I don't think it should be a thing where it's like we have to phase out, you know, humans driving their own cars, things like that. I think it'd be like Upgraded. Have you ever watched Upgraded where it's like, it's in a near future where like, most of the population has like self-driving cars, but then there's those people who like chose stick. not to. Yeah, and they're they the bad guys. Like, no, no, but he's just kind of like he yeah. just like you know, just, you know, where you drive your own car is like not as common. It's yeah. just like you just get yeah. in your car and it drives you somewhere. I yeah. think that also. I mean, that does sound kind of cool. That Being also, able to like nap to work. Yeah. <laughs> that would be pretty cool. That also yeah. comes with like you know, it's not just necessarily relying on a car to drive you places, but like us as humans, you know, we are. We can be gullible and believe that, oh, yeah, I want this self-driving car. Like, I, I want this to take me places, and I don't want to do anything because now I feel like people are becoming more lazy and Dependent. not really doing that mm-hmm. blue-collar, hard-working, you know, 
uh, that dollar a dollar earned is always better than a dollar given. But I feel like people are losing that mindset, and yeah, so we're not. Sure. It's not just like cars that we're relying on. It's phones technology, and yeah. all of just technology as a whole. Like your computer. Like imagine I know some people that are like. Okay, let's actually take Chloe for example. I'm gonna single her out. <laughs> she has problems like with getting places, like with directions, and so she relies on GPS. <laughs> I do but too, you, man. but you shouldn't. You should also like. I've always been raised to remember like road signs and stuff like that, or just like, <laughs> or just like you know where something is. Like remember what's near it, like a Walmart or mm-hmm. or a Target or something. Like oh yeah, I go to this place that's by Target. I'm like oh yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. You know. But we as humans like rely on on GPS and our cell phones and computers yeah. and all these other things that imagine if that was all taken away. Like we would all, so many people that relied on that would just be screwed. Think if like, we took out calculators. From yeah. The like people oh, used to be yeah, able to do like arithmetic, that. basic mm-hmm. arithmetic on their own, like long division, uh, multiplication, simple stuff like that. Can't even do that anymore without a calculator. Yeah. So oh, that's, that's dangerous. You got to look at these things. Yeah, exactly. Everything. So it's like all those things that. It's like we think factors. we're so smart in 2019, mm-hmm. but in reality, we're dependent so much on technology that we're actually losing IQ. They say that mm-hmm. we have like the same um, attention span as goldfish. Yeah. It's like seven seconds. Or yes. Like wow. Yeah. Because yeah. of technology, you know, social media, things like that. Um, the likes, the clicks, we're, we're constantly getting dopamine triggers. So we get like addicted to these things. So we do need to start to learn to um, use technology to empower ourselves. But not, not to empower, not to not to let technology take, take over. Take over, us. exactly yeah. right, mm-hmm. and that is a threat in the future. This guy watches Ex Machina too much. <laughs> <laughs> I have seen Ex Machina. It's interesting. No, I, and also, yeah. actually, a good video to watch. Um, I don't know if you guys heard of Prince E, but he's a good a good guy. He's a very like inspirational, and he talks about how technology and cell phones as a whole, like where where we as humans focus too much on how many likes and how many followers we have, more than just like the beauty of life in general. And I think mm-hmm. that's a good video. That everyone should watch, and or I don't like, know if you can put that in there, Princey. I don't remember exactly. <laughs> what the or like the called, great but. Drizzy Drake said, he said, uh, <laughs> "I'm living in a moment, not taking pictures to save it." I respect that line. Oh yes. yeah, I do take a lot of pictures. <laughs> I, take, yeah. I mean, when I'm like pictures. out somewhere, I went to DC. I took like a hundred pictures, um, but I did live in the moment as well. So I um, recommend that y'all, you know, put your phone in your pocket, put it away, spend time with the family, with your friends, have real third dimension experiences rather than your, you know, silicon experiences. And um, recommend that. All right. Well, thank you for watching our podcast. It was nice being here with you guys. And have a good day.